thanks for coming by the channel today. So I'm outside and it's really cold. So I think I need to change something. That's better. So today we're going to look at my huge inventory of T680s. So let's check them out and see what they're all about. of these t680s in stock they're all pretty much set up the same way uh, the only difference is uh, some of them have fog lights some of them do not that's pretty much the only difference between the two but uh, I'll just get into the, the specs of the truck so this is a t680 with a 76 inch tall sleeper we'll get to the tour inside here shortly uh, we order them with uh, disc brakes up on the front and aluminum rims and uh, you have partial chassis fairings that go all the way underneath the cab and under the sleeper leaves enough room to install an APU if you'd like. So you can put an APU right in this area here. We order them with the factory installed S-Bar heater. Uh, fuel tank sizes. Uh, we have a 120 gallon fuel tank on this side. We'll get to the uh, other one here shortly on the other side. As far as the, uh, the rear ends, we have the Meritor uh, MT40 14X3 rear ends on these trucks. Uh, I just have to double check the gear ratio. I don't recall offhand. And we got the Kenworth AG400L suspension as it's shown right there. Three-way locking differential on the truck. Aluminum rims all on the back. And they are Durabrites as well. So just soap and water and they will polish up nice and shiny like so. You don't even have to uh, really put a buffing wheel to it at all. We have uh, frame access steps on the driver's side here. Uh, the fuel tank on this side is a 120 gallons as well. And then we have the 26 gallon uh, aerodynamic style def tank that is in behind the, uh, the chassis fairings right here. So uh, before my battery dies here in the extreme great white north cold, I'm uh, going to turn it off here and we'll open up the hood and take a look underneath. All right, so we have the Packard MX-13 engine, 455 horsepower, 1650 torque. This is what we carry in stock uh, most of the time. And uh, we have uh, the Packard 12-speed transmission as well, the automated manual transmission or AMT. And uh, as far as the front axle here, we have the uh, remote boost terminal so you don't have to take the chassis fairings off if you have to boost it on a really cold day like today um, and uh, let's take a look on the other side so this is the hot side of the engine with the turbo 
And uh, there's your HVAC system up here. Uh, your cab filter is right in here. This here is, uh, if, if you're getting dust inside the cab, just change that guy out and it uh, comes out no problem, like you can see. Close up the hood and take a look inside. Now something that we do with our trucks, we order them with the painted, uh, the painted bumpers. So you can see here, these bumpers are all painted. And the nice thing is about these bumpers, they have a seam down the middle. So if you hit a deer, uh, you can just replace a, a panel one side or the other, not the whole thing. And uh, it is a composite material, so it is uh, uh, durable. And here's well to paint. And uh, some of our competitors, what they do is they have uh, end pieces, a three piece bumper, and the middle section is like a steel bumper. And what happens is that rusts out and uh, with ours, you won't ever get that because it's, uh, it's a composite material. All right, so here we are in the truck. Uh, so let's take a look at the dash and see how we have this laid out. Uh, so this is a pretty much the same common cab that we have on our W990, our T680 and T880. So as far as the dash components, uh, you're gonna be looking at a pretty much a similar dash from one to the other. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the door here. So down here we have your um, your door locks, your window lifts, and your mirror controls. Uh, the heated mirror is right up here. You need that on a day like today. Um, we've got your big handle right here for opening up the door. So it's not a small, flimsy little handle. It's a nice, big size handle. Uh, over here, we have uh, your interior uh, lights right here. This is to do your exterior light test, which also comes on your uh, key fob when you order one. And then this here is to adjust the brightness of the dash. Uh, right up here you have your backup lights on the side of the cab and then the lights on the back of the bunk or if you have a, a wire coiled up underneath. Uh, your turn signal, uh, this here is to put windshield washer fluid onto the window and this is just a marker interrupter switch uh, for your clearance marker lights on the roof. Uh, you have your standard gauge cluster right up here. And on this side of the, the uh, steering column, you have your shifter. I really like this. I uh, wasn't really sure at first, but it is a really nice setup. Uh, you just turn it to go into drive, turn it back for neutral, back here for reverse, and then your Jake brake control, you just pull that back like so, and then that engages it. You can also uh, push the button on the end here to lock in to go in manual mode versus automatic, and then you can, uh, uh, shift it, down shift it, or back shift it for uh, selecting a gear so you can adjust your gears manually. Uh, here's your trailer spare or a, tra a spare switch. Uh, your trailer uh, brakes your, used to be on the steering column, the spike, but now it's down here on the dash. This is to adjust the display uh, right up here. Uh, to adjust, this is the back button, and then you push that button into advance. Uh, you have your uh, engine fan, your cruise control on and off, set resume, air traction control. Uh, this is your electronic stability program to turn that off and on. Uh, your um, uh, DPF uh, to do a regen, another spare switch, air suspension dump, power divider, front axle lockup. And this is a uh, preset for your um, uh, for your engine speed so you can just tap that and it goes up to whatever the engine is programmed to a factory installed PTO switch and a fifth wheel slide uh, The truck is also equipped with a auto climate control. So it's quite nice You just hit the auto set your temperature and it will blow wherever it's needed uh, Here's additional gauges that were ordered as far as uh, optional gauges and then your radio right here So the way that we order our stock trucks, it's with a Sirius XM ready uh, USB, uh, weather band, AM, FM, CD player. Uh, so that's what you get when you uh, look at one of our stock trucks. As far as up here, we have your hazards, your exterior lights, clearance lights, and then your bunk light. So up here we have your overhead storage. Uh, so it is a uh, nice deep pocket so you can keep uh, outside boots in there or you can keep a hard hat, whatever you decide and then you just give that a little bang and then that will close up. Uh, we got a nice storage pocket up here, a nice deep one up over top, 
and then your CB radio right here, and then addi additional right up here on this side, and then same thing on this here. Now, this is standard on the, the high bunk uh, cab, so and also on the mid-roof cab. So uh, you get that regardless. You don't have to option it. It just comes with the truck. Uh, if you are ordering custom, a tr custom ordering a truck, uh, you want to make sure if you uh, are wanting to have the curtains that go around the window to order that uh, because it isn't standard. This is an option. And then the curtain between the bunk and the cab, that is standard. So you get that regardless uh, whether you want it or not. Uh, okay, let's uh, take a look at the seats here and show you what that's all about. All right, so here is the GT702 seat. This is what we order from the factory. Uh, you can get it in heated and cooled uh, leather, or you can just get uh, cloth with a heat option as well. So when you want to uh, engage the different functions of the seat here, I'll just kind of go through that with you. Uh, between your legs, there are two adjustments down here. So you have one on the left, one on the right. Uh, this one here adjusts how much cushion you want underneath your leg. So that is... Uh, to basically adjust this whole piece here and I'll show that in a second how that works and then this one down here this is to adjust the tilt of the seat itself so to adjust how how much you want the seat to to tilt and then down here this is your your chugger uh, your chugger snubber or whatever you want to call it there uh, and then over here you have a few options this is your air suspension dump so this dumps all the air out of your seat uh, goes right down to the floor so it just drops it right down and then when you disengage it it goes back to whatever the last setting was set to so it just goes up all by itself this here is to adjust how soft or how hard you want the uh, suspension to be this is to adjust the height every time you go up it goes up 10 millimeters and same thing for down and this here is your control for the lumbar support and uh, right down here this here adjusts your a tilt of the back of the seat so that is uh, how you engage that and then this here uh, you turn these and then this here adjusts where you want your seat uh, armrest to be uh, so if you turn that you can have it go up higher or lower whatever you want it set to and then down here if equipped um, this here is to adjust the uh, the turn swivel passenger seat so let me just show you how you do that so what you got to do is you have to pull the seat forward the head i'll go through the motions here really quick so what you have to do is you have to pull the seat ahead make sure that the, there is air in the seat if this is all the way to the ground it won't turn then you turn that the seat will then turn but it does get caught on the back so you have to make sure you slide it far enough forward and then you got to slide it just a little bit back to get around that corner and then it's adjusted. Now you want to slide your seat back and then you can adjust the tilt and then it's done. So let's uh, take a look at the bunk area here. All right, so what we have back here in the bunk, uh, how we order our trucks, we order the trucks with a TV mount right here on the wall. That'll take up to a 22 inch uh, flat panel screen TV. Uh, you have a 12 volt power outlet right there and uh, you have your option for a microwave to go up in this area here. Uh, these guys here just pop out quite easily and then they lock into place or you can just pull them out. Uh, you have a power outlet up there. If you order an inverter, you do get a uh, 120 outlet on the wall there and then down there and then an additional one underneath the bed. Now. To get this table to swivel out, there is a latch underneath. You just pull that and it comes out like so. And then you pull that again and then you can slide that back out of the way like so. Now we also order these trucks with doors. Uh, these are tub style doors, uh, drawers. So you can uh, pull them actually, you can pull them right out of the truck and uh, you just have to undo the latches underneath on the bottom here. I've never done it. So let's uh, let's show you how that function works. All right, so underneath here, you have two latches. So if you just squeeze those, your actual drawer will come out like so. And you can just push that, 
push that back in there. And now you have an actual tub. You can carry this into your house and uh, fill it up and then uh, bring it out to the truck. So you're not carrying small handfuls. You can bring uh, the whole the whole shelf out. So putting that back in, I'll just show you how to do that. So you just pull those out like so. You line it up like so, get them on the track and just push it in and it locks in very easily. Now on this side, we have the pullout style refrigerator. So that just comes out and it's a nice drawer style. So it comes out all the way. Uh, you can pull that down and then you have your freezer right there. And this is, you can pull that out and have full utilization of the fridge without having a freezer. Uh, so that's the fridge. You have a lower drawer down here and same thing that can come out and you can bring that in. You just pull those latches and it pops out no problem. And up here, we order the trucks with a door on this closet and we also order the shelf. This is an option. You can order it with or without, or you can order it with and take it out if you'd like. And then you have a hanger up top so you can hang pants or jackets or whatever you would like or your, your shirts. Uh, you have a mirror storage pocket here storage pocket there and then you have a hook you can keep your baseball cap or whatever you'd like up there on the back here just turn on some lights so you have this is standard uh, you get the bunk light uh, that's a toggle switch a three-way switch here is your night light for underneath the bed this is a, a door lock so that is standard equipment you get that uh, with a 76 inch bunk, mid roof or high bunk. Same thing with a clock right here. So that's uh, standard, you get the alarm clock. Uh, as far as uh, here, we order the trucks with a factory installed S-Bar heater. I'm just gonna turn it off now. I had it running here, so the truck uh, uh, was staying warm while I'm in here. And this is the switch to turn on your fridge on and off. Uh, right here is your heat controls to turn the heat or air conditioning, uh, heating or cooling in the, in the bed area and then we'll just shut that light off. We order the trucks with vents on the driver's side and on the passenger side, we have the door, emergency door with a window. And overhead here is your upper bunk. So that has lots of room up bed uh, and you have a tent style uh, harness so that can uh, lock into place with a, a buckle and you can keep uh, extra storage overhead and uh, keep things secure while you're driving. And this lower bed actually lifts up as well. So the way you do that is you pull this out of the way, pull the latch up, and then you have lots of storage. There's two cylinders that come with it and that uh, holds the bed up nice and high. We order it with a subwoofer. We have your fire extinguisher in there. There's the factory installed S-Bar heater and then the bunk heater itself as well. So. That's a little bit about the interior. All right, so thanks for coming by the channel. If you want to check out my latest videos, just click up here. You can see my latest videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click down here and you can hit the subscribe button. Click off that bell so you get notified. And uh, we will see you on the next video. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.